Ubuntu 22.10 has been launched by Canonical, codenamed as Kanetikudu, with a 9-month support has some major improvements. Starting from the desktop, Ubuntu now ships the latest GNOME 43 out of the box. The advantage includes a redesigned shell that allows you to toggle Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Nightlight, Dark Mode and more with a single click. You can also enter the settings app from there and also have the option to take a quick screenshot. The user interface now even allows you to change audio devices right from there. Ubuntu now uses Pipewire audio platform which broadens support for audio devices and provides a step up in Bluetooth connectivity, delivering improved performance for video conferencing. There are new alert bills available inside the settings app. Ubuntu also ships the 5.19 Linux kernel which improves performance for Linux devices. It includes improvements in multi-core desktop snap performance. Firefox, which is a snap num, launches a bit faster, maybe because of that reason. Talking about performance, this version of Ubuntu is the smoothest I've ever used on VMware. The animations look very smooth, almost as if running the operating system on bare metal. This performance, however, degrades over time and slows down drastically due to some reason, making Ubuntu unusable. This required a complete reboot to solve the issue. I guess it is the kind of bug which needs some attention. Let us now get back to GNOME 43. Nautilus has some improvements. It now uses a compact design when the window size is reduced. Looks like a file manager for mobile devices. The compact design now extends to the settings app which also uses the same compact design and also to other applications like calendar which responds in a similar manner. Nautilus has a new design for the properties window. The properties window for a connected storage device now links to the disk app. You can even format your device right from the right click menu inside Nautilus itself. List view allows multiple rubber band selection now. There is a new favorites animation. While clicking that icon, there is a slight rotation. Right clicking inside Nautilus gives you easy access to the terminal. About page has a redesign in Nautilus and it is now consistent throughout all GTK4 apps. Gedit is no longer shipped with Ubuntu, instead you get the text editor which has a more modern UI with GTK4 theming. Surprising enough, GNOME console is not available, instead you get the same old GNOME terminal which looks a bit out of place with the very modern GNOME 43. Nautilus now can show you thumbnails for WebP images. Click them to open the file using the image viewer. The settings app now has a new page which shifts some of the operating system's specific things for easier access. Now you can change to dock mode from here, change the icon size and move directly from here instead of getting inside the appearance settings previously like we used to do. There are some new wallpapers also and they look gorgeous. Ubuntu now ships new apps including the new version of Firefox and LibreOffice Suite. Many apps are not available yet. Most of them are packaged with snaps like OBS Studio is not available through apt but it is a snap which is available. Some apps like GNOME Console is not available in both the places for some reason if I am not wrong about the package name. One more thing, there is no more the ToDo app which was shipped earlier with, with Ubuntu. Now you can get some alternatives directly from the software store itself. So that's all for this video. That's all the updates that were included with Ubuntu 22.10. I hope you liked the video. Do like, share and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.